Hey guys, Davey here from PhoneBook.com. In this video, I'm gonna show you the differences between the old YouTube app that came with Ice Cream Sandwich compared to the new YouTube app that was just recently updated by Google. So I just opened both of these guys up and they both took me to this page where I see my recent videos from the channels I'm subscribed to. On the right, on the old version, you have smaller thumbnails with the text on the right. And on the new version, you have larger thumbnails, which does look a little bit better with white text over top of them. Um, not that big of an issue to me uh, either way. I mean, I, it's, I think it's better looking, but at the same time, I feel like this was a little bit more efficient because you see like six videos at once compared to just three, but not that big of an issue. Um, I do like the new way to navigate around the new YouTube app. So for example, over here on the old version, if I want to see my categories, I'd swipe over to the right. If I want to see my account, swipe over again. I see my channel stats, my uploads, favorites, playlists, etc. On this version, what you do is uh, you uh, just swipe over to the left and you can just tap on account right here at the top. So you actually see some more information this time or different information. So I see my video view views in total for my channel compared to just my channel views, which is nice. You also have an extra tab or two, which is watch later and history. Um, when I go back out of here, I also have the option to see all the channels that I'm subscribed to and their specific videos. As you can see, they're showing up right here. So pretty cool way to uh, navigate. Over here, I'd have to hit subscriptions and then find the channel I want, tap on that channel, and then go to it that way. So a little bit faster to get to you know the videos you want from the channel you want. Um, if I wanted the regular categories like I have over here under browse, I just keep scrolling down and there they are. But again, not that big of a change. Um, I do like it. I think it's a little bit more convenient, at least for the way I use the YouTube app. But what I think it really excels in as far as the new app is the way you watch videos. So I'll go ahead and load up this video really quick um, on both phones. So let's go to uploads and load up this video. So as you can see, both videos are loading up, but it does look a little bit different. So this one's volume up is up. Anyway, um, as you can see, you see the like bar right here. It's actually showing green uh, versus over here. You just have regular text, which is nice. You have the option to subscribe right there where over here you don't. So, I mean, a little bit of differences. You see the description the same way, nothing different. You have the related and comments tab and nothing changed, but I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, right here, you have a red, little red slider that you can actually fast forward and rewind on the video, which is awesome. But over here, there's no such option, you know? In order for me to fast forward, I actually have to take this guy and tilt it, which, you know, I always do because I, I do watch a lot of YouTube on my phone and uh, I have to swipe over like that. So, it's nice to be able to watch it in that portrait mode uh, if I wanted to and be able to fast forward at the same time. So definitely uh, a cool advantage right there. But other than that, I mean, there isn't really that big of a difference between the YouTube app. Obviously, you know, with any new version, it's better. Um, I do like it. I feel like everything's a little bit bigger. If you guys notice that I feel like the uh, like button's bigger, the text is a little bit bigger. Um, but anyway, that's pretty much it for me in this video. Just wanted to make a quick video showing you guys the differences. If you found it helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you.